What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon ADC, and today I'm checking out a limited run of the QSP Otter. This one with the aluminum infused carbon fiber. Uh, they also have a copper infused version, and you can get it with uh, either satin or black blades and hardware. Um, it is $115, well, at least where I bought it, it could be so. I've seen it around $120, so in that $115 to $120 range, depending on, I guess, what variation you want to get. Um, they're both identically priced, but Caviso had the aluminum infused version for 115. They were sold out of the copper. So if you want the copper, you'll probably have to check out some different sites and it's not exclusive to anyone. So wherever you get QSP knives, you can probably get it. Um, but you might end up paying a few dollars more if you want the copper since uh, it is a few dollars more on some other sites. Uh, I have a couple other knives on the table, carbon fiber knives in particular, uh, just to talk briefly about my thoughts on carbon fiber. And historically, I haven't been such a huge fan of just traditional carbon fiber. It looks okay, it's nice. I, I know it's meant as, or it was thought of as kind of like a premium scale material for a while. And some people really like the look of it. The look is okay to me. I feel like it's pretty slippery as far as scale materials go, not the most ideal for a knife where you want to have a good grip and feel secure in it and uh, coupled with the fact that it's not my favorite look, it just really hasn't been for me so I don't have a lot of carbon fiber knives. Uh, one where I think they did it pretty well was the original CRKT CEO. But even this, once other versions came out, so I have the Blade HQ exclusive version in green micarta, and I like that version a lot better, both aesthetically and just the feel of it, and it just works better for me, so definitely not my first choice here. But recently there's been a trend where they're doing marbled or shredded carbon fiber infused with some other materials, and I really, really like the look of them. Uh, a recent video I did was the Boker Quake and Air with the Purple Rain Fat Carbon scales. And uh, this is one of my favorite recent scales. It just looks really, really good to me aesthetically. It doesn't change much in terms of grippiness, although this is a little bit more textured than the regular carbon fiber. And uh, I guess slightly more grippy, but barely, barely at all. So I, I wouldn't add any points there, but aesthetically I like the look of it a lot. Uh, that was a Caviso exclusive. I also have a SMKW exclusive uh, Hogue Deca in the Sub-Zero carbon fiber and love the look of this one as well. It just kind of pops when it hits the light, right? Both sunlight and house light, um, or I guess natural light and unnatural light, however you want to describe that. Um, but either way, it pops really well and I like the look of it. Again, not adding anything grip wise, but it's a trend that I'm enjoying and hope that it continues. I'm sure at some point I'll get tired of it, but for now I'm still enjoying it and uh, kind of leads me into talking about the QSP Otter with the aluminum infused carbon fiber. So similar to all the other ones, pretty slippery material. It doesn't feel like a insecure in my hand or anything like that, but it's not the most grippy. It is on a flipper tab. There's some slight jumping here on the flipper as well as on the base of the blade here. Relatively small. It is on bearing, so that action's nice and smooth. Minimal kind of billboarding. You have the QSP logo here and then the S35VN stamp there, which uh, really nice blade steel and it's got a kind of a modified sheep's foot uh, blade here and relatively small 2.7 inch blade with the they're saying 2.65 inch cutting surface very very small kind of sharpening choil here very minimal uh, 0.12 inches thick so if you're in somewhere where it has kind of limiting knife laws where you need to be under three inches it's a really nice knife for that and uh even if you're not, it's a really nice kind of compact knife that's not super intimidating. You know, if you're using it at the office, it's not going to be the most intimidating. Although, I would say that you'd probably be better off with something a little bit slower to deploy. Sometimes these, like, flipper tabs are, they're just thinking you have kind of an automatic knife, and uh, that's a little bit more intimidating, but still pretty minimal, um, I'd say, overall. Just look-wise, it's a thin knife, it's small, short, you know, you're not going to scare a whole lot of people with this, but you never know. Some people <laughs> are scared easily, I guess. Um, it is a liner lock. Um, it's kind of slightly chamfered out here and uh, pretty comfortable to use. Not super drop shutty. It is a little bit, but um, that might break in over time. 
Uh, but overall, feels really good. The action's really nice on this. Again, it is on bearing, so to be expected. Uh, the handles here are 3.8 inches long, and overall that brings you to 6.5 inches. So again, super compact knife. And the weight to size ratio is really nice. It's uh, two and a half ounces, so fairly lightweight. And carbon fiber is typically a pretty lightweight material, so that's not surprising. Uh, I mentioned earlier, you can get it in black or satin blade. And whichever you choose, that's gonna kind of match across the knife. So because I got the black blade, I have the black hardware, black liners, as well as the black pocket clip, which is a titanium pocket clip. And uh, I've mentioned in several videos, I don't use pocket clips very often, but aesthetically, I really like the design of this one. It's a really clean look, um, and in theory, should be reversible. Every website I looked on mentioned deep carry, right hand tip up pocket clip, uh, but that screw looks like it's just going into the scale and the backspacer here and has an identical screw on the opposite side. So in theory, it should be reversible. Um, I'm not 100% positive on that. I'm right-handed, so I have no reason to necessarily reverse it, but if anyone is curious and it's kind of a deciding factor for buying the knife, let me know. I, I don't mind testing it out. Uh, it also has a lanyard hole here, if that's something you're into. Um, can also add a little bit of extra length if you feel like it's a little bit too small. For me, it's pretty comfortable. I can get a full four-finger grip. It's tight, but feels secure, it's not uncomfortable in any, by any means, and uh, yeah, feels good. Um, overall, just kind of impressions of the knife, I really, really uh, like the design of it. I like slimmer knives, obviously. Some of the carbon fiber examples here on the table are pretty slim knives, and uh, typically look to get sub three inch blades, although I have plenty that are more than that. Um, in fact, there's a few here on the table that are more than that. Um, but typically around three inches, as close as you can get to three inches, whether it be over or under is kind of the sweet spot for me. Um, just a good size, not too heavy in the pocket. And again, because I'm not using the pocket clip, this is going to sit in the pocket. So I like a lighter weight knife and this is definitely that. Flipper tab works excellently. I know some people aren't the biggest fans. It doesn't have a second deployment method, so you couldn't necessarily like grind it off or anything like that um, because you'd be losing your deployment method, and I don't think there's room for a thumb stud, although possibly one of like the cans that sit on the spine, but even that I think is probably going to be too tight, so really locked in there with that flipper tab. But for me, Great little knife, um, good materials, uh, like I said, titanium pocket clip, S35VN, uh, the carbon fiber scales look excellent. $115, I feel like it's a pretty good value, the action is good on it, I like the look of it and the feel of it. So uh, pretty happy with this knife, but definitely let me know what you think of this knife. I haven't seen a whole lot of videos out there of it. Um, I think there's at least one other of this version, and they mention it has a 3.8 inch blade in it, which uh, is not the case. I think um, they were looking at the handle length. Uh, the blade is sub three inches. Uh, my normal ruler here, which isn't the most visible, I need to get a new one, but um, for these videos at least. But as you can see, it is a, it's a sub three inch blade, so. Um, there's not a whole lot of videos out there, so just wanted to kind of correct that, obviously. Um, Easy mistake to make because the handle is 3.8 inches, but something to keep in mind. Uh, but yeah, really digging this knife. Let me know what you think of the QSP Otter, I guess in general, and your thoughts on this kind of trend with carbon fiber with these like infused and marbled carbon fibers, if it's a look you like or if it's kind of getting played out at this point and you're over it. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. As always, hope you have a great one. Take care.